ชันมันลายจอกพร้ออมในบรรดาย่านต่างๆในเซียเทอนับได้ว่าฟรีมอนเป็นย่านที่โดดเด่นมากที่สุดอืมอย่างน้อยก็โดดเด่นติดหนึ่งในสิบละค่ะฟรีมอนเป็นย่านที่เต็มไปด้วยผลงานศิลปะสาธารณะที่มีชื่อของเซียร์เทลเป็นต้นว่ารูปปั้นคนยืนรอรถเมย์รูปปั้นยักษ์ประจำฟรีมอนประติมากรรมทรงจรวดรูปปั้นนักเบสบอลที่มีชื่ออย่างอิชิโร่สุสุกิว่าแต่ว่าไอ้เจ้ารูปทรงแปลกตาใจกลางฟรีมอนนั่นนะคะคืออะไร To me it looks like um... Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. The new condo with the ugly steel seaweed on it. He can't hardly miss it, you know. It's the giant can opener attached to the building. When it first went up, I thought, oh boy. It's sort of like nothing else. I like it. I think it's definitely a defining piece. The project is built in an arts community, Fremont, and so we knew going into it that we wanted to. Engage the community in the project and make it very much a Fremont project. So part of that obviously was that we we needed to incorporate art in the building. Part of the reason why that building came out, developed the way it was, was a lot of involvement from the Fremont community, mostly the uh, Fremont Neighborhood Council. Uh, which I sit on the board of, and then also the Fremont Arts Council. We've done a lot of negotiating with the Fremont Arts Council, which is really the heart and soul of Fremont. Um, they were very interested in this being an artful building. We went through uh, an incredible gamut of, uh, of art proposals for this project before we, uh, before Mark Stevens came up with what you see there today. Well, basically, you know, I was presented with a. You know, with a, a formal problem, where it's how do you how do you put something on that building, you know, on, on that corner of the building, and make it look good. So I got a set of the plans, and then then I built that mock-up. So this was just something he put together, so that before he even had the job, before he knew that it was his, just to show them what his work was like. While we were there, we got a lot of comments on. Uh, On it, uh, it's probably about a 50-50 deal. You know, half people come by and liked it, half people come by and didn't like it. So. At one point, um, some group put some yellow caution tape around it that said "aesthetic crime scene." แล้วคนเสียทุกคิดยังไงบ้างกับมนสวง I think it's wonderful. I mean. I'm not a fan of the building, but I think that the sculpture definitely makes a huge difference. A coworker of mine had a really good description about it: is that it looked like the EMP came and took a poop. It's a little bit much for me. It's cool. It's very. It's kind of corporate cool. I think it's kind of an eyesore. I like it. I like it. I think it's a horrid mess, but it, it fits in Fremont. What we've got here is something you notice. It animates. The street it's on. Now the same could be said for a guy on the tower shooting down at the people. He's certainly animating the space, right? As an architect, I think I would have liked to see something simpler, uh, more direct, maybe in uh, in the memory of the kind of crafted old buildings that used to be here. I don't think that it's the the greatest piece of art in Fremont. But I also don't think that that was in its, its intention. I think it was to help solidify that when you come to Fremont, that that art and public art is a very important part of what this community stands for. Uh, but the great thing is it stimulates conversation. Uh, it's great for this development, and uh, it's just another thing that helps bring people to Fremont. You know, I, I believe I saw it first about. Uh, Uh, a year ago, when it when it was first built, just happened to be driving by, and I thought that it was fantastic. I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was uh, very interesting and seemed like Fremont. แล้วโชคชะตาของมนสวงจะเป็นอย่างไรบ้างแล้วสักวันฟรีมอนจะยอมรับให้มนสวงเป็นสัญลักษณ์ประจำย่านได้หรือเปล่า And so I think the fact that there's controversy over it is ideal. And if that's the goal, you know, our, as a marketing thing. Pretty successful. You know, I think if it hadn't have been controversial, we probably would have felt like failures. Gaudy, it makes the tasteful shudder, and for that alone, don't we admire? And I think it is becoming one of those things, like the troll and the Lenin statue and all that. I mean, I can appreciate the people who don't like it. I mean, it is sort of it's, it is sort of obnoxious, but it's just before its time. You know, I think in 
in 15 or 20 years, I think it'll look right. Wow. 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 Wow.